Hi everyone, today's topic will be the two new materials that are added to our grease pencil object. One of them is knife, the other is hole material. The way they work is quite simple, just like the other grease pencil materials. They are meant to be used simultaneously together. So let's say, using the car material, I drew a shape like this. And let's also say that we want to cut some holes in this. And normally, I can just draw a few extra shapes inside this. And after I press K, I can simply choose concentric shapes and I'll get a shape like this. But this actually has some shortcomings, unfortunately. Let's say if the second shape is extending outside, when I press K, I get artifacts like this. Instead, let's try something else. Let's try one of our new materials. I'll mute this, undo the last stroke. Let's press U and select whole material. And let's draw a shape like this. And let's also draw an additional shape like this that also stretches out. And when I press K and unmute, I get this shape already pre-cut without any complications. We can draw, ah, let's choose whole material. We can draw many other more complex shapes also. This is particularly useful when you're carving using this new shape. Let's position the canvas on this surface and let's draw a new shape. And maybe we can use some of the geometric tools and I'll also select the whole material, draw a shape like this, another one, another one, and then something that goes outside the boundaries. And press K. Let's switch to remove mode and also to symmetry. Let's increase the extrusion a little. This is almost like keeping the operators live and cutting the carving object. Except that now we are doing this all in one go. Let's draw a new shape. Maybe this side on this face. Align the canvas and something like this. Switch to whole material. Whole material strokes will not affect the base mesh. They are only used on the new geometry. And when I press K, the new geometry is carved using the whole material. And in return, we also carve the base mesh using the new geometry. The knife material works the same as the knife tool, except we can also use it simultaneously while doing other operations. Let's say I've drawn a shape like this and switch to knife material and put a slice like this. Press K. By default, both the new geometry and the base mesh will be cut. And the cut through option is the default. You can change that to face nearest the cursor, which limits the cut on the base mesh to the face that the cursor is nearest to. We can change the cut both option to cut base object only, or cut new object, or cut both objects, as is the default. Now, if you're wondering why we would need to have a knife material when we already have a knife tool, is so that we can use it simultaneously. There are some cases, let's say, I'd like to cut a shape into the base mesh and press K and let's say switch to symmetry and remove. Let's actually simplify this into a regular rectangle shape. As you can see, Blender created automatically some new edges and these sometimes create problems, particularly with bevels. Every time you have a sharp corner like this or like here, it is likely to cause problems when you're trying to bevel the base mesh or the new cut. If you'd like to keep the edges tidy, and under control, you might choose to use the knife material along with the carved material. Let's mute this, choose the knife material, and let's put a stroke like this. And press K, unmute. Now, as you can see, we have a cut across this face and those randomly created edges are not there now. We can choose exactly where to put our edges using this. And 
the reason we only have the cut on this particular face is because face near cursor was selected. I can choose cut through, then it'll cut through everything. Or cut through coplanar faces near cursor, then it will cut through this face and this because they are coplanar. I can now cut additional shapes without having to worry about where the new edges will be created. Now let's draw another shape like this. Select a knife material, put a cut like that and press K. The reason it failed is because the cursor is in the wrong place and we have the face near cursor option is selected. And because cursor is nowhere near this face that we are actually cutting into a function failed. So all we have to do is just simply, you don't need to pause it, shift right click on the face that we wanted to cut in the first place and simply turn this on and off. And now the cut is correct. You can either switch to new object only or base mesh only. And now this way, if we decide to maybe put some bevel on this object, we can do so without having to worry about any of the pinching or failing bevels. Let's increase the extrusion a bit more. And here's our cut. Nice and clean. Same goes for the whole material also. Let's say I drew a shape like this here and using the whole material also created a hole in the middle. And let's use the knife material and put a cut. Press K. Now, whole area is also cut nicely. You can limit it to base object or just a new object or both. And maybe near cursor. And of course, if you just put the cursor here. Thank you for watching and see you next time. And in the meantime, if you'd like to support the channel and the add-on, please like, subscribe and share. Hope to talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.